The arrival of beer in Canada was in the 17th century by European settlers. Since then, Canadian beer brands now play a significant role in their identity. However, the brewing industry has become more globalized, particularly its three largest beer producers, The Bat, Molson, and Sleeman. Here we'll take you through the best Canadian beer brands from the 1970s, including old and cheap Canadian beers. Generally, you can count on these beers to make every occasion a blast. The Moosehead Lager is the first on our list. This is a beer that has stood the test of time, resisting all odds and doing what they know how to do best. In 1867, they were founded, and since then they have been producing some of the best beers in Canada. Moosehead Lager is a widely distributed Canadian premium lager, with distribution in Canada, the United States, and also a few other nations worldwide. The malt sweetness and hop bitterness in this golden, pleasant lager are perfectly equal. For its award-winning flavor, Moosehead Lager is made with 100% Canadian two-row pale malt and Moosehead's unique lager yeast. The beer is then cool fermented and cold aged. In terms of lagers, it has the majority of the appropriate flavors, and while Molson doesn't disguise its adjuncts, it also doesn't punch you in the face with them. This beer could be right for you on a hot summer day, or any day when you need a little refreshment. Number 2 is the Labatt Blue. Labatt Blue has a clean, refreshing taste with a unique hop scent, a subtle fruit flavor, and a somewhat sweet aftertaste. It is brewed with the finest ingredients, including renowned Holotau hops, two-row malted barley, and pure Canadian barley. Guess what? Labatt Blue is also a cheap and affordable Canadian beer, among other brands. Sitting in the third spot is Keith's Brewery Alexander. Alexander Keith's finest nuggets and Zeus Hops India Pale Ale has a light bitterness and subtle aromas. In Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, you will find Alexander Keith's Brewery. It is owned by Anheuser-Busch InBev. Anheuser-Busch InBev is a holding company based in Leuven, Belgium, that owns more than 400 beer brands around the world. Alexander Keith, who had come from Scotland three years before, opened the brewery in 1820. The company was sold to Orland Brewery in 1928, which was thereafter sold to Labatt Brewing Company. After a series of mergers and acquisitions, Labatt is currently part of Anheuser-Busch InBev. Since 1928, parent businesses have maintained the brand, and by the 1990s, Alexander Keith's India Pale Ale, IPA, was Nova Scotia's most popular beer. Following the Keith's Brewery Alexander is the Sleeman's Honey Brown. The beer is based on recipes from the Sleeman family recipe book. It is full-bodied, prepared with all natural ingredients utilizing crystal clear well water, and has a surprisingly mild honey flavor. Its brewing consists of all natural bee honey for a distinct taste. Sleeman Breweries is a Japanese-owned Canadian brewery in Guelph, Ontario, founded by John Warren Sleeman in 1988. The firm is Canada's third largest brewing enterprise. The company is the re-establishment of the Sleeman family's line of brewing companies, which dates back to the 1830s. Sleeman Breweries was started in the 1850s and ran for 50 years until it lost its license in 1933 because of smuggling and tax fraud. In the 1980s, John W. Sleeman reopened the brewery, utilizing the original business recipes. Sapporo Brewery bought Sleeman Breweries for 400 million Canadian dollars in 2006. John W. Sleeman served as CEO until 2010, when he stepped down and became chairman of the board. Next is the Uni Brula Fin du Monde. Serge Racine and Quebec native André Dion founded Uni Brew, a brewery in Chambly, Quebec, Canada. In 2004, Sleeman Breweries Limited purchased the company, which was then acquired by Sapporo in 2006. The company was founded in 1993 and is the first of three microbreweries in the Greater Montreal area, followed by Brosseur RJ and McCausland, both in terms of time and sales benefits. Uni Brew creates a variety of beers, with a focus on Belgian-style brews such as Modite, La Fin du Monde, and Don de Dieu. 
the majority of Uni Brews beers are in bottles. Next on this list is the Kokani Gold Amber Lager from Columbia Brewery. Kokani Gold is sold in upscale businesses across British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. The attractiveness of the liquid is solely responsible for Cocaine Gold's success. Quality, craftsmanship, brewing legacy, water, and unusual ingredients have combined to produce a beer of exceptional quality, word of mouth has done the rest. So, enjoy the smooth, rich flavor of Cocani Gold, a full-bodied lager from the heart of the British Columbia mountains. Big Rock ranks in the seventh position. Since Big Rock's inception, its recipe has remained unchanged. Big Rock traditional ale starts with toasty malt and sweet caramel and finishes with a nutty flavor, medium creamy carbonation, and mild hop bitterness. Big Rock is the perfect beer for all occasions. Finally, we have the Mill Street Tankhouse Ale. The color of Tankhouse Ale is a deep copper red. To create a complex malty texture, five different malts are employed. To create an intense hop flavor, fragrance, and bitterness, the spicy Cascades hop is employed. As a result, you get a pleasant and nuanced brew. Each bottle contains 5.2% alcohol. On the other hand, beer may be pretty expensive, but did you know that there are very good Canadian beers that are cost-effective? Some of the best include. The first cheap Canadian beer brand on this list is the Pilsner, Old Style. Old Style for its 66 breweries limited in Lethbridge, Alberta, began brewing Pilsner in 1926. The beer was brewed using the House of Lethbridge's formula, which can be seen on the top left-hand side of the label. But by the early 1900s, six breweries limited had grown to include breweries all over Western Canada and the United States. This Western Canadian favorite beer, which originated in the heart of the prairies, can now be found in many pubs throughout the city. However, this has quickly become the new hipster cheap beer of choice in Toronto. The second on this list is the Pabst Blue Ribbon. PBR is a relatively good beer that's also cheap. But it appears that people tend to look down on this beer just because it's a popular, low-cost option. Sure, the profile of this beer may not meet some people's higher expectations, but it is one of the cheap Canadian beer brands you should try. Next is the Old Vienna. A 12-pack of Old Vienna bottles is a shockingly reasonable option for only $18.95, making it an affordable beer for everyone. Start drinking this exclusively as a favor to yourself as a start. Following Old Vienna is Lucky Lager. Lucky Lager is a pretty respectable beer for those of us trying to get a buzz on a budget, aside from being a fantastic option for people who appreciate alliteration. It is also one of the cheapest Canadian beer brands for you. So, next time you're in the store, try your luck and give it a shot. Other cheap Canadian beer brands for you include Keystone, Brava, Brewhouse, Molson Dry, Black Label, Caribou, and of course, the popular Labatt Blue. Now here's the most juicy part, what are the best beers from Canada to enjoy with Canadian cuisine? This is a list of some of the best ideas you can think of. Number 1 is Bock and Dark Lagers. Beers like Bock and Dark Lagers are full-bodied and malty, with a touch of sweetness. Roasted or grilled meats, particularly game, are the ideal accompaniments to these alcoholic beverages. Don't choose any meats that are very mild in flavor, as the beer's strength will dominate the taste of the meat. Number 2 is Brown Ale. The color of brown ale can range from dark amber to light amber. This beer's sweet caramel and chocolate flavors have made it a popular choice for beer connoisseurs around the world. Citrus notes might be added depending on the region and the method of brewing. Nut and malt undertones are common, and their high alcohol concentration makes them a popular choice. This beer goes great with barbecue sauces and red meats. Your taste buds will be delighted by the combination of this dish with prime rib covered in a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Next is Pilsner, crisp and dry, Pilsner has a slightly bitter taste. Neutral or hard water is used to brew Pilsner. It's golden in color, almost like honey.
I would recommend this beer to anyone looking for an intensely hoppy experience. Foods with a lot of flavors, such as spicy or smoky foods, go well with it. On a cold winter's night, try a pilsner with a hot chicken curry to really appreciate how complex the pilsner flavor is. Following pilsner is Lambic. Lambic is a three-year-old sour beer that is cloudy and carbonated. It is only brewed in Belgium and has a unique flavor. After a fermentation, it is infused with fruit, such as cherries, and then served. A sweet or creamy dessert goes best with Lambic. After supper, this beer can be paired with a spread of cream cheese on crackers. Number 5 is Wheat Beer. Wheat beer has a pale yellow hue and a hazy head. It has a moderate flavor and a lower alcohol concentration than most other beers. The sweetness is balanced out by a dry, peppery aftertaste. For those who enjoy beer but don't want the lasting taste, this is the brew for them. Using wheat beer in cooking is a terrific idea because of its mild flavor. And finally, we have the stout. The stout's dark hue is due to the use of unmalted black barley in the brewing process. It's molasses, chocolate, coffee, and licorice heavy, with a distinctive flavor. Stout has a high alcohol concentration and is creamy, thick, and full-bodied. It pairs well with a variety of foods, but particularly well with red meat, chocolate, and oysters.